everyone, iOS 18 has officially came out, so let's go and take a look at it on the iPhone 12 Pro and see if it's worth installing. Now, the first thing I'll definitely tell you is, is that this update was a pretty big size for the most part. It was like 6 to 7 gigabytes on like all of my iPhones, which is pretty crazy. And in some cases, even the betas was like 7.17 gigabytes. So keep that in mind. Make sure you have that much storage saved on your device before you actually go through an upgrade to this version of software. Now, some other big things to keep in mind here too is that one, because this is such a beautiful phone with a massive display still, when you go through and move these app icons around, it still looks very good. And on an iPhone 12 Pro, you know, it still looks fairly nice. You can see you can move the widgets around too for the most part. It's a very nice, seamless experience. On top of that, you have the capability of clicking on edit up here, clicking on customize. And you can make these app icons smaller or larger. You can tint them different colors as well, which is really cool. And that is something that you actually have the capability here of doing, which is genuinely a super, super cool thing. So you can customize that whichever way you want to. Our control center got some massive updates here as well, as you can see. So you can go through and you can move these widgets around by clicking on the plus button. You can move them around wherever way you want to. You can delete them. You can click on add a control at the bottom and you can even drag and drop these widgets to your control center, which is another really cool thing that you have the capability of doing here too. And that's something that I love seeing. And with a phone like this, you basically are given that type of capability, which again is super cool. Now hopping out of here, another very big thing now is within iMessages. So now with an iMessage, we have the capability of tapping back with really any emoji. So the um, you know tap backs are redesigned, but you can also use any emoji to basically tap back with, which is really cool. We have RCS messaging support, so that's now supported here. We have you know the ability of having a ton more text effects you know, kind of spread apart here too. So that's another really cool thing, thing that we have here as well. We now have a dedicated game mode now. So whenever we're playing games on our iPhone, we should now be able to have a little bit more capability from that side which again is a super nice thing to have. And we're basically having that type of capability here, which again is very, very cool. On top of that, we have the ability of locking our applications either with Face ID or with our passcode. So you can require Face ID or passcode to actually lock these apps. And I think this in and of itself is another super cool thing that we have the capability of doing. And then we have our photos application, which is like completely redesigned. A lot of people don't like this, including myself, but you know, I guess we're just gonna have to kind of get used to it for now. And even the passwords application is redesigned or it's a new passwords app and it's an overall a really good version of software. I probably would just say like as of right now, I probably recommend waiting out to install this. I think you're probably better off waiting until iOS 18.0.3 or something comes out. But so far, it's a work in progress. It's still really good. And it's been holding up fairly well on my iPhone 12 Pro. So that pretty much covers it up here. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.